welcome back to the channel. We unfortunately did take a brief hiatus. We went on vacation real quick to Italy. If you guys want to check out some of that content, you can check out my personal Instagram at Thomas Verk. We haven't promoted that in quite some time, but today we're finally here for an unboxing, as you guys can see, actually a good amount. And this is all within two and a half weeks to three weeks of uh, just kind of just not being here and getting shipment shipped over to our uh, warehouse. So we got some stuff. I actually also did say that we were going to stop on unboxings just because I usually open up everything the day of and ship it. We've been kind of quick selling a lot of our items just because the market has been so wishy-washy. That goes for eBay, StockX, GOAT, consignment, all of the above. But, you know, we do have all that here. So we got a lot of Yeezy Day. Oh, 2022 items. You got some Jordan, Nike brand, Resox, all that good stuff. And of course, it's all courtesy of the group Tommy Boy TV Plus. It's a group I own and run. Four dollars a month gets you access to early information on sneakers drops, uh, low key flips, collectible flips, card flips, daily fantasy sports, crypto info, NFT info, and all the above. You guys can check out our website for more information. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. And basically, we're good to go, ladies and gents. So once again, a lot of easy day. Easy day unboxings will be taking place in this video. Here we got some beautiful slides. And if you guys are new, welcome. Please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. But if you're new, we also, uh, I basically just give my little, sometimes I give my rundown on like the shoe holder sell now. And these are uh, looking pretty ugly. These are the Green Glow Yeezy Sides. They come out for retail price tag of 70 US dollars, if I'm not mistaken. And that's probably the worst colorway right now. It's really bright, really ugly. And uh, I just think it'll take some time for it to really go up in value. Just there's so much stock out there. And I wouldn't really consider holding on to those unless you got a lot of capital and are willing to hold until next summer, spring. So once again, people aren't really focusing on slides in the winter time. And we got a small little weird box over here. Oh, brought in rise is what it was. This is a V friends. Oh, this is like a little NFT we bought. You know, we do do some of that in the group and this is something we'd have gone in the past. I'm not sure how much this is worth, but this is the V friends collectible box. I think it's worth a good amount. So I'm going to be careful with this box right here, this package specifically, but once again, we'll put some retail resale price estimations on the actual page. You can see there's a little pack in there as well. Really, really cool to see NFT and the, the, the fake world and the real world coming together in one. Actually, that actually took a long time to come in as well. And right now, RIP to the whole NFT world. Now this shoe is actually a fantastic sneaker with Jordan 4 Military Black. We've been buying up a lot of these. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods and all sorts of retailers have been restocking these in a plentiful amounts at weird times as well. So that's why our monitors in the group come out clutch. But this shoe has been skyrocketing in value. Not really skyrocketing, I'd say, but gradually and slowly going up in value. This is a size 8, but we have a lot more colorways and a lot more sizes going up in value as well. Um, pretty much reaching upwards of $350 uh, in most sizes and they're slowly, slowly going up. And I just think it's pretty common sense. We did say to hold these as well and uh, it's cool to see that pan off. Here we got a boost right here and this is going to be the little brick. It's a little bit of a brick. This is the, we kind of honestly, when Easy Day was coming out, it was a little bit hectic. It was a lot of stuff going on. This is the sesame colorway and we were kind of just entering for everything. It's, we kind of really sell only on consignment right now as well. We don't really focus on StockX and such and really in-store market is much more different than online market. So that's something to take note of if you want to get into the whole uh, reselling game right now. It's much, much different. Sometimes better and sometimes worse on different shoes. You kind of just got to get a good grasp of it as uh, you play the game, you know, and sell different shoes as well. Uh, here we got another Yeezy slide. This is going to be in the Onyx color, if I'm not mistaken. A big boy size, you know, bigger sizes are where the money is. Actually, I don't think size 11. So it's a pretty, pretty big size. Nothing too crazy, but definitely one of the more profitable sizes out there. Once again, size has been restocking in a plentiful amount. So uh, the hype and I guess the resale value is not as high as it once was. But listen, $70 retail price tag. We sell them for 150. I mean, I'll take it. It's easy double up of the money, and uh, we just keep it pushing from there on out. I hate these Nike boxes so damn much, but it is what it is. Here we got a Jordan 1 mid, size 7.5. Yeah, a little bit of brick action as well, but this is a shoe that has been moving well for me in stores. But you take, for example, the value of this shoe online, like StockX or GOAT, and it's doing really, really bad. So uh, something to keep note of once again. And here we got another Yeezy box right here. And this is going to be the Yeezy foam. If this is the one I'm thinking about, it is going to be quite the crazy story. This is... Ah, this is not it. This is the Onyx colorway of the Yeezy Foam Runner. Uh, definitely one of the more sought after ones as well. This is something we got on Yeezy Day for retail. But there's one other colorway that we did get that I want to talk about a little bit more of. So uh, we'll save some time for that one. Here we got a nice little big box. I think this one is going to be 
I'm not even sure where it's from. All right, so this is kind of a low-key clip I have to be really careful with because we did already sell these as pre-orders and I definitely don't want to damage it for the customer. So we're going to try to be as delicate as we possibly can. We probably won't open it all the way. Yeah, we won't, unfortunately. But if you guys can look through it, this is one of the ma 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 Maytel dolls, I guess if you want to pronounce it. Bought these up. They usually double up our money on these. This is a great little low-key flip. Uh, they're basically just like Dracula dolls. We'll try to put images on the screen above. And I don't know why, but I guess people really wanted them. And they sat on site for actually like five minutes or so. So it weren't a hard buy at all. Uh, so definitely a really, really cool one right there. It actually took about three months to get in. So that's something also, a little bit of downside with a lot of these flips. Sometimes they do come out as pre-orders, something like that. So you just got to be patient with the money. Another great investment I have a lot of faith in is this Shadow Low. Um, this is, you know, the past colors in this exact tone have done really, really well. Now keep in mind, other colors didn't feature this black midsole and this black upper sole right here. Uh, so something that might deter some of the resale value on this sneaker, but over time, once it gets more limited and a lot less pairs on the aftermarket, I do see a lot more upside with that one. And just right now, there's a lot of stock, a lot of restocks going on. And, uh, you know, pairs just keep coming in. So I just hold them as time goes on. And here we got a big boy Jordan Retro Box, Jordan 9. Jordan 9s have always been some great unicorn sales. Here we got the Chili Reds. We actually hit on a sneakers restock, if I'm not mistaken. Not a ton of money here. Now this, for example, is a shoe I'll probably put on StockX or GOAT, just because the fact of the matter is, uh, online consignment just takes a long time for these, and um, I just feel like getting rid of those. I really don't feel like, on, feel like holding onto them for too long. And here we got, it looks like to be another Yeezy box. All right, here we got a Yeezy 350 V2. This is gonna be the, yeah, the core black. Another retail sneaker that I struck out on. When these came out, I was kind of like a noob for the most part. And, uh, you know, I didn't know much about shoes and exactly how to go the best about getting these. Uh, but we did get these on Yeezy Day 2022, a smaller size. We kind of played it safe. We actually got a new count on Yeezy Day. We set it up before because we were banned on Adidas. Paying a lot of payment issues on every single drop. This time around, we we're like, all right, I'm just gonna get a new account and see what happens. And we hit literally every single drop we entered except two. The 700 V3 Azils and the brown slide that came out via like a surprise drop, which is also something we cover entirely as well within Tommy Boy TV Plus. Here we got another slide. I think this is going to be another Onyx slide, size 12. Once again, a lot of these are, I want to, yeah, literally 99% of these are all manual cops as well. So you and I can both do it. Um, pretty fun i mean it's fun game still sneakers once again not as hot as they once were but also is like everything right now is kind of just in the dumps for the most part but you know you got to make it i was about to say something motivational but i completely, completely forgot what i was about to say and this is a crazy oh yes Yes, this shoe is interesting, to say the least. This is a New Balance collaboration. We got two pairs of these. We actually sold one of these for the sky high of 350 US dollars. Um, other ones are not doing too hot right now. This is the New Balance 2002R Bryant Gills. I actually did come up here for my toe. Judging off the looks of it, I might actually end up keeping it. What's cool about this one is you got a quick little removable end on the new balance so you can like switch around with different end logo patches they don't have a ton out yet i do have a feeling they're coming out with more end patches as well as time goes on a lot of extra laces haven't done too well in the resale market i thought it was more, it was more like a surprise drop not a ton of people were talking about it i thought it was gonna be a lot better than it ended up being um we did sell these are the actual ones i'm talking about these are the slides these right here i sold for 350 dollars. i don't know how but we surprisingly did the 2002 r mule a new sneaker by new balance right now this is like a little I guess it's a competitor with the Croc, but it's a much more expensive and a whole complete different market, I think, is buying these compared to Crocs. Uh, so definitely an interesting one as well. Sold, once again, I don't know how I did that, but it is, uh, and it was on StockX, I'll give you guys the honesty. This was actually sold on StockX. The, uh, sometimes you just gotta list them for the crazy eye and see what ends up happening. All right, let's keep it moving, ladies and gents. Here we got another. Listen, you can always sell their easy boxes just by the branding, and we got a little too many. I honestly can kind of confuse them. I'm hoping they sent me some, some multiple duplicate pairs by accident like sneakers has done in the past by the way easy day 2022 for sneakers day 22 which i know was only us and eu and canada i would honestly pick probably easy day over uh nike this is a 700 uh yeah 700 analog right here size so a little bigger size once again another show I'll probably just hold for a little bit and then i'm throwing on consignment and uh yeah pretty much just push it on there and once again i mentioned a lot of consignment 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 and if you guys want more information on that you guys can check out my other video i did post on youtube and if you guys want just want a little quick like a little background information on it 
We did post it about it probably two weeks ago or so. And we did give just like a little bit of information like where to consign and what shoes to consign and where it's better than others. Here we got a Dunk Low. I call them the McDonald's. I think the official name is the Midas Gold. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Size nine right here. I think we got these on the sneakers app, Shock Drop or Reserve event. I'm not exactly sure where that one went down. And of course, we got another Yeezy box right here. And ladies and gentlemen, this might be, I just kind of realized that this might be, what the, I hate, dude, Yeezy, Yeezy and Nike box, honestly, these are the worst. These right here, we gotta rip them all around. They're probably one of my least favorite ones. Uh, this is not it, this is not what I was looking for. If you know, you know. This is not what I was looking for. This is 700 something blue. Uh, we got these as well. We kind of just once again entered everything possible. I do actually like these kind of, not really. I like the Wade Runners the most, and then the Analogs. I think those are my top two favorite colorways. Analogs, I don't know why, they're just kind of getting shit on for the most part. By, I see by like a lot of people. Once again, not entirely sure why, because that's a pretty clean colorway and pretty easy to wear, and I don't see why it should be doing so damn bad. And here we got another pair of New Balance Bryant Gills over here as well. Once again, as you can see, I did have a good amount of faith in those. Next up, it looks like we're gonna get into a nice little easy day package. This, I hope, is a shoe I'm looking It looks like it might be. It looks, yes, it is. It is the shoe, ladies and gentlemen, the main shoe, I wanna say. Probably maybe the second or third main shoe of this video. Dude, the Turtle Dove 2022. Wow, the 350, no 350 V2, no BS, none of that, all that shenanigans. This is the 2022 version of the Yeezy Turtle Dove right here. I'll show you guys the other sneaker right here. This is the shoe that got me into this game. This right here, when I saw some dude in my high school rocking these, I was like, bro, what the fuck, what is that? And uh, ever since then, we are uh, kind of been just really focusing on this whole thing. It was like in high school, sophomore or freshman year, I want to say, is when we really started getting into this seriously. And we're a little old now, unfortunately, age, Age has come and gone, but this is definitely one I'm going to be keeping. I did tell members once again to sell this shoe. It was just too many people hit these, and um, too many people weren't going to keep for themselves. Like, I saw, like, Twitter, Instagram, a lot of people coming and go, like, oh, I got them by selling, selling, selling. And once you see that, you got to know that there's going to be a lot of pairs on the aftermarket, and at that point, you might as well sell, and then just rebuy if you really want a pair for the collection, which I honestly should have done. And once again, we were away for a little bit, so we couldn't really do much with the selling side of things, so we ended up just keeping it. And uh, we're just going to keep it in the collection, honestly, just like a little bit of a sentimental way, which once again, you should never let emotions get in involved with your money and your assets, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And this is another cool little pickup we have, the Foam Runner Ararat, Ararat, I guess you wanna pronounce it. It's a whole like white, off-white colorway. This is, I copped the first time these Foam Runners dropped. Listen, I got them for retail off Yeezy Supply, right? Uh, we held them forever. We sold them for $850, now the same exact shoe is going for $250, if not less now, thanks to the Yeezy Supply restock. Yeezy Day restock, I should say. Wild, wild to see how much this shoe has come and gone. Thank goodness I sold at the peak, or almost the peak. I think the highest sale on my size was $950. So we barely missed it, but listen, you can never call it the top or the bottom in a lot of these markets. So it's best to just, you know, call it a good day when you can make some uh, pretty decent ROI. And here it looks like we got another Nike box, and this is gonna be a Nike Dunk Low, hopefully in the GS size. It's gonna be six and a half. Racer Blue GS, another shoe I have a lot of faith in. And once again, it's a two tone, two tone men's dunks right now are just kind of in the air, but two tone GS dunks right now have been moving very, very well. Apps consignment and all the above. So, a really good mover. I think it could be a really solid investment as well, depending on your buy in price. Looks like we got another Jordan Retro right here. Dude, I'm sweating. It's a hot one today, ladies and gentlemen. It's a humid one, I should say. Not just hot, but humid. We got another brick flip right here. Uh, not really a brick flip, because it's like a retail flip, but you know, we got the Chili Red Jordan 9s here again. We already showed those off, so I'm not gonna pay too much attention to them. Once again, just a little quick flip. will probably depend on the apps for that one. Looks like another JD Sport order, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes. A beautiful Jordan 4 Military Black. We got both of these off the finish on JD Restock. We also did a free auto checkout service. Uh, for some members, we got some members, some successful pairs. They didn't have to get up or try for this drop. And once again, this is going to be a size 11, no, nine and a half, nine and a half men's right here. So we got two pairs on that restock. Once again, I'm pretty happy with it. A quick little, I think over $100 profit each. All right, so a quick little brief intermission. Completely lost what we were saying, but we got another Adidas package over here. And this is going to be an Adidas Yeezy slide again. I don't know where this is from. 
Oh, and this is a pure colorway. So once again, Onyx, Green Glow, and Pure Zittery stock on the slides a week before Yeezy Day 2022. And uh, those three colorways did once again release. And it was just uh, Green Glows and no. Green Glows are exclusive to confirm and the rest dropped everywhere else. Oh, nice. We got a little personal cop right here. Once again, Emily on Door is my absolute favorite brand. We got a couple personal t-shirts. Once again, if you ever want a cop from this brand, highly recommend it. Great quality. No, like... Definitely not no sponsor, nothing like that, but I just want to say uh, just like what I really like to rock. And if you want to save money, I recommend always waiting for the end of the season sale. Cop in some t-shirts or some shorts, that way is honestly the best bet. I usually just wait for the end of the season sale. Uh, you don't get everything you want, but you can get a good amount of goods. Here we got a Kith t-shirt, and it actually come with the Amazing Spider-Man comic, which I thought was pretty cool, a little free gift. This is from that whole collection of Kith and Spider-Man. Nice little t-shirt over there. It looks like we've got another Yeezy box. So we're gonna go ahead and get right. I think it's a easy, yeah, it's a easy boost box. I thought we went through all the easy boosts. This is a 700. This must be a really bad item because I don't remember ordering it. Oh, it's the Haas. Oh, this was the EA. So yeah, this was given out to EA. The 700. Completely forgot what these are called. The washed orange. Actually, it has been going. Used to big sizes were like really rare and some good money makers, but I think now that has changed. Now as much, but once again, we're just gonna have to patiently wait a little bit because right now at this point in the game, all the orders are all in. Everybody has Paris Purity undercut our market. I'm not gonna sell when it's at its lowest. I'm better off just waiting a little bit longer. Uh, yes, it's a little risky to hold these. Actually, very risky to hold these nowadays. So we're just gonna see how that goes on. And we got another Jordan Knight Chili Red. Also, one thing I want to mention. We might see turtle dogs restock sometime in the future. You never know. So that's also something to keep in mind if you're holding on to your easy turtle doves. All right, we're basically winding down. We got just a couple more Nike packs to get into. I think that's what it looks like. And this is going to be another yeah, little, little brick item. This is going to be the Jordan 12 Black White. It's another really good uh, local mover as well. It's like a shoe you can sell pretty well locally. Apps, once again. A little different. It also always depends on your local market <coughs> place for the most part. You know what I'm saying? So, here we got another Nike box real quick. I think. I hate that one. See, they're unusable as well. They're very hard to open. Or annoying to open, at least. Not hard. A little annoying though. Uh, size 13 and the same exact skew and same exact model. We're missing a couple Nike dump orders as well, unfortunately. It seems so that won't be part of this video. So last but not least from Easy Day. Looks like we have one last Easy Box to open. And I think this will be the 700 high res blue. What are these? Like? Oh, these are new ones. Absolutely loud as hell. This is the new 700 in the res blue. Once again, matching the high res reds. These are the high res blue. So once again, slightly different. Actually, very much so different. But a similar color concept at the end of the day. Last but not least, we got a little bit of a little unboxing that we did within some shopping in store. Uh, so first and foremost, we're going to get into this one real quick. This is from Dope Factory. If you guys know, Dope Factory used to be the biggest Ponzi scheme. Actually still is to this day, but they don't drop as much shoes because I think too many people complain. They used to drop shoes online and never ship it. They were from Italy, Porto Cervo, Italy is where we went to buy these. And they completely scammed me one time for fear of gods. 350s, right? Listen, I bought shoes from there, but they shipped some, not many. Uh, usually I get my money back from PayPal because they're a PayPal only store. And I bought Fear Gots from them and they completely never shipped and it was too late for the case and I just lost 350 bucks. So I guess we, we I went, I walked in there and I was like, I need every single dunk they got. And he was like, you can only get one. And I was like, say less, my guy. I'll just get one as is. This is the Harvest Moon Dunk and uh, pretty solid. I mean, quick little $120, $100 dollar profit on these. Um, with the EU conversion rate as well, they were 100 euros. So that's a little bit over 100 US dollars. I think like 100. Uh, current rate is like, I want to say 106, maybe the worst case credit card actually changes the best. So keep that in mind. And yeah, so that was dope factor. I guess I got a little bit of my money back, but not much because we're still down the hole from them. And listen, I don't usually like to spend money on designer goods or anything like that. This is actually my first designer purchase. I'm not really like too crazy into the whole thing. I'd rather make money than spend money, tell you the honest truth. But these I've been wanting for a minute. And I'll tell you the cheapest way. This is the signature shoe, the Louis Vuitton signature shoe. I think this is actually the exact color I looked for oh, for a long time, actually. And I'm just super hyped on these. We got these in Rome. 
but in the Rome airport. Now you might say, they know they have an airport. They actually had Gucci, Prada, everything Louis Vuitton in the airport. And I'm telling you, this was the cheapest way to buy them. So once again, we actually still have the stick on because we got the last one, luckily in our size. So you guys can see, uh, there's a price tag that says 940 and then a price tag that says 770. 770 euros was my price because we were going to the US and it was duty free. So you don't have to pay any tax on them. Once again, these retail for $1,200 in the US. So I bought them for 770 euros. It's about 820 US dollars. Literally, they were selling on StockX for like 1200 bucks. Consignments was 12 and they're not, they're not buying. I didn't buy these to sell. You know, you could probably make some money on them, but literally, I paid 820 dollars for this shoe. It goes for 940 euros in the Rome store outside of the airport. I actually looked at these and was like, I want them. I was like, I'm not going to spend thousand dollars on a pair of shoes. That's a little bit ridiculous for me, but we got these absolute grails in my eyes, and uh, I'm just finally like, I'm happy to have them. You know, they're pretty cool, but once again, you know, spend your money wisely, I guess you can say. So that about rounds out this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. We got a lot of good, mainly easy day stuff, but a whole lot of other goodies as well. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.